right, I got a few different things today. Got a haul from Intel Retail Edge. When I ordered, was the power bank and Fallout 4. Cashed out some points. Got those for about 20,000 points. I also got a nice little bonus USB drive from Intel. And it's like I get some use when I go to Second Trails next time. A school with Intel Core bag. I can throw that in my backpack at work. And then I've got a nice bag to work with. I'm going to pick up some PS2 or Xbox stuff. Pop open Fallout here. Take care of the Intel side of things before I work on the Best Buy side of things. Well, ironically, every single thing I've got here is because of Best Buy, because of Intel Retail Edge. Um, I have that whole thing due to, due to Best Buy. Oh, cool. So I've got a Season Pass for Fallout 4, which is a you know, a nice little bonus there that has a little Fallout dude on it. I liked this game back in the day, sold it, now I have a chance to get it again, and for free, cool. I also picked up a Tamron 18-200 to lens. I was going to grab um, another one, I was trying to get the 18-400, to uh, having used Tamron's 7200 lens before, uh, but unfortunately Best Buy no longer sells the 18 to 400. So I grabbed this. I actually got a $500 gift card for Best Buy doing some uh, doing some courses, which is kind of cool. So that was nice. Nice little bonus there. I've already pre-ordered Metroid Dread, and I pre-ordered. Uh, uh, something else, another big release that I can't think of, but I put it in a couple games yesterday. And I was just glad to be able to get a lens. My goal was to get some kind of a, some kind of camera gear, because I usually don't buy much camera gear. I think the last thing I bought was uh, my Flash, and that was, I mean, other than upgrading the set T7i. So there's our lens hood. Got that. And now we have our lens itself. Now I have the 18 to 135. That's actually what's shooting this video right now. However, this should come in really handy to get more distance. And I like Tamron's lenses. So we have our lock. We have pretty smooth motion on it there. I like Tamron lenses. They're really well made. They work nicely. If it wasn't so damn hot out, I'd actually go out and shoot with this thing. But I actually ordered this last night after recommending it to a customer. I had a customer whose wife had a Canon. And uh, well, I don't know, unfortunately, you really can't buy Canon lenses right now because I discontinued so many. But uh, you could get a Tamron. Tamron's are real nice. Sigma's a little nicer. I'm also a lot pricier. My gift card is for 500 so I thought, well, I could go with a Sigma and pay the difference, but I really want to go with things that I'll get some use out of. So we have our operations guide, so we have warranty information. Uh, one thing I like about Tamron, they do give you a really long warranty. So as long as you register your lens, you get a six year warranty on it, which is really cool. Um, generally when you get a lens, you want to make sure that um, you, you get it covered somehow if you're shooting it constantly. Like I haven't, honest to God, I really haven't used the camera much except for YouTube stuff since Spud died. Uh, she was my muse, and I miss her. But with this lens, I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe I'll go for the uh, AW show in New York, bring this bad boy. I'm um, looking forward to seeing how well this works. And I'll do some test shots, maybe Sunday. I don't think I'll do anything until then. But uh, yeah, so we got Fallout 4 with Season Pass on it. We got a power bank with a carabiner. It's kind of, you know, kind of handy. I don't really think I'll need this anytime. But, you know, if I need a power bank and a pinch, this will work. Uh, that's actually what I worked really nicely with the Nikon 900. I used to have and actually used a uh, micro USB. But I will say you don't want to be charging a camera with a really tiny power bank, it won't do it very well. Um, but it did actually come in handy because I was able to get a few more shots 
By the way, if you're ever uh, shooting a wrestling show with a, a camera, buy a second battery. Just bring a second battery in case it was a new camera that you haven't really tried out before. I shot the whole Ring of Honor taping I went to in uh, 2018 with that camera with one lens, with one uh, one battery on it. Fantastic. Got thousands of shots, um, including Ross. So it wasn't even like just doing JPEG only. Um, but when I use the big Nikon, it's all point and shoot, it's all electronic. So I killed my battery life pretty quick, and it's a smaller battery. But yeah, that's going to do it for this little haul. I was hoping that Rocket League would arrive as well. Um, but it was not in this package, no big deal. It's a version of Rocket League that's going for like 60 bucks last time I checked, so I was like, okay, why not? It cost me nothing. But uh, yeah, that'll do it. Actually, yeah, what the heck, I'll show off the, uh, I don't know if I've shown this one off yet, the Lumix that I, that I got from Be Thrifty. This is a really nice point and shoot. This was 10 whole dollars at Be Thrifty. I was shocked uh, when I saw this thing because this has a 35 millimeter equivalent zoom of 36 to 432. It gets out pretty far. Only downside to it, other than father time, it's 07 camera. Uh, it is 5 megapixels, but it still takes a great shot. I actually used, uh, did some comparisons between this and my uh, T7i. Actually, T5i is when I took the shots. They hold up pretty nicely. But yeah, I got the thing for 10 bucks, so I'll do it. Bye-bye.